Hi right, guys, uh, in this session we're going to be looking at uh, solving quadratic equations by rearranging. Uh, I would recommend you guys to actually watch the previous two videos in this series to get an idea of uh, what we're going to be doing in the session. Okay, so the question type that we're looking at in this case is something like this, where we have x squared equals 7x minus 6. Now, to solve a quadratic, it's always a good idea to make one of those sides equal to 0. Because when you equal it to zero, then you can factorize the other side, and um, you know, and then you can kind of do the rest of the rest of the calculations to figure out what x is. So the first thing I really want to do is I want to make the right hand side equal to zero. So that means shifting my seven x to the left hand side will become negative seven x, and shifting the negative six to the left hand side is going to make it positive six, and this equals to zero. And now factorizing this, I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 6 and add to negative 7. Well, I made it easy for you guys in this case. So two numbers multiplying to 6 and adding to negative 7. I'm looking at negative 6 and negative 1. All right. So that means I've got x minus 6 multiplied by x minus 1 equals to 0. Now this is, of course, once you see this, and if you had actually watched the previous two videos, then you know that one of these numbers is going to equal 0. So either x minus 1 equals 0 or x minus 6 equals to 0. So once we have that written out, guys, then x is equal to 0 plus 6. So therefore, x is equal to 6 in one case. Or in the other case, you've got 0 plus 1. So x is equal to positive 1. So finally, your answer for this question is going to be x is equal to 1 or 6. All right, looking at another uh, type of question where you have to rearrange is something like this. Now, here's the problem. You can't, you can't just go x plus 1 equals to 0, x minus 3 equals to 0 in this particular case. The reason is you've got to have 0 on that, left, uh, on that right hand side. You've got to have 0 here, but you don't have 0. Therefore, what you must do is, in this case, you need to expand this equation, combine the 5 and equal to 0, then factorize and solve. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this equation. All right. So expanding it, I've got x times x, which is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Uh, 1 times x is 1x. And finally, 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. And all this is equal to positive 5. Okay, so simplifying this, I've got x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 5. Rearranging this, I'm going to get x squared minus 2x minus 3. And because 5 is coming over to this side, it becomes minus 5, and that equals to 0. So the equation that I have is x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals to 0. See, now I've brought it down to a quadratic and that quadratic equals to 0. So from here, I can factorize and actually continue to solve this problem. So I'm basically looking for two numbers that multiply to 8 and add up to negative 2. So that's going to be negative 4 and positive 2, negative 4 and positive 2. So I have x minus 4, x plus 2 equals 0. And from here, I can see that either this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. So x minus 4 equals 0, or x plus 2 equals to 0. So x is equal to positive 4, because 0 plus 4 is 4, and x is equal to 0 minus 2 is negative 2. So the two answers that I have for this particular question are x equals negative 2 and positive 4. Okay, let's look at one more example before wrapping things up. Something like this, x minus 2 equals 24 over x. Now, if you had watched the, this entire series of videos, then you would know um, I actually talked about this in, which one was it? Hold on, let me have a look. The 27th video in this series, I think there was about sums and differences of fractions. If you were to have a look at that particular video, uh, you will see this technique being used. But the way you could actually do this question is, Rearranging, of course, first before you actually do anything. 
So we've got x minus 2 equals 24 divided by x. Now, what I could do is I could cross multiply this, is, this question. And because x is being divided here, when it comes to the left hand side, it will become multiplication. So I've got x minus 2 equals 24. And of course, x is being multiplied in the front there. So expanding this, x times x is x squared, x times negative 2 is negative 2x, and that equals to 24. Rearrange this, I'm going to get x squared minus 2x minus 24 equals 0. Because remember, any time you solve a quadratic, you got to equal, you got to make it equal 0 before you um, go on to solve it. So once I'm up, up to here, I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 24 and two numbers that add to negative 2. And I'm looking for negative 6 and 4, negative 6 and positive 4. So I've got x minus 6 multiplied by x plus 4 equals to 0. So I've either got the green part equals 0 or the red part of the equation equals 0. So I've got x minus 6 equals 0 or x plus 4 equals 0. So in this case, 0 plus 6 is 6 and 0 minus 4 is a negative 4. So the two answers that I'm looking for in this case is x equals negative 4 and x equals positive 6. So the other way that I was going to talk to you guys about uh, in terms of rearranging this was this method here x minus 2 equals 24 over x so this is where if you want to get rid of the denominator multiply every term by the by whatever is in the denominator so in this case i would multiply this by x this by x this term by x and when i do that x times x is x squared negative 2 times is negative 2x and then 24 times x divided by x, that's where the x's cancel out each other. And I've got just 24 left over here. And as you can see, this is, this is pretty much the same step from here onwards. Cool. That's it for this session, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, uh, pop it in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. All right. Thanks again.